It was only a matter of time before something like this was found. Today guys I show you how you can get your super back literally every 10 to 15 seconds. Yes, absolute craziness. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps me out and subscribe if you want more Destiny 2 videos. Okay, so credit to a hungry tree over on Reddit for this information. Today I will showcase to you this on my Hunter, but I'm pretty sure there will be builds for other classes too. And after seeing this and how it's done guys, I'm pretty sure you will know if something like this is possible on your current class. Okay, so the main thing you need to achieve this build is an old non 2.0 armor leg piece with the perk of dynamo on it. This reduces super cooldown when using your class ability. This isn't available I believe on any new 2.0 armors as it's now a class item mod called distribution which we will cover in a second. Now on these legs it also helps out having an old paragon mod applied to them. Now I will state if you have any of these old mods you can still apply them to older gear or if you have older gear with these mods on you can dismantle them and get the mods then apply them to elsewhere. So paired with these legs, every other armor piece can be armor 2.0 as I believe you can apply the rest of what's needed to said armor pieces. So onto the class item and this is very important for this build. You need to apply two distribution mods to your class item. This is basically the armor 2.0 mod version of that dynamo perk we had on our leg armor. These two distribution mods stack with that dynamo perk and the results are kind of crazy. Now for the helmet, gauntlets and chest piece here, it helps you having paragon mods on. Paragon mods can be applied to the general mod socket on all armor pieces within armor 2.0. I'm demonstrating this however on non armor 2.0 due to not yet actually unlocking the 2.0 paragon mod. But I can 100% reassure you guys it works exactly the same way. The paragon mod obviously increases class ability regeneration speed, which is important. I'm using this build with Blade Barrage as it beholds the perk Burning Edge. While enemies burn, your dodge ability recharges faster. Also using Gambler's Dodge as dodging near enemies fully recharges your melee ability. This could also be paired with Top True Arc Strider and be super effective too. So the way this setup works is as follows. I'll demonstrate this within the Tribute Hall as it's really easy to explain while not getting mauled by enemies. So basically every dodge you perform, you get about 1 eighth of your super back. So the plan is to dodge as many times as possible and quickly as possible to get that super energy back. This is why it's important to be using Paragon mods. Gambler's dodge allows you to get your melee ability back after every dodge near an enemy. The hunter's melee ability throws knives which sets enemies ablaze. And with the burn edge blade barrage perk of when enemies burn your dodge ability recharges faster. This also adds energy to your dodge class ability meaning faster cooldowns. So it's literally as easy as dodging, throwing knives, dodging, throwing knives, rinsing and repeating until you get your super back. And it comes back pretty damn quick as you can see on screen now. I mean how crazy is this? Now like I said this build I'm sure will be achievable on other classes too so get out there and start experimenting people. If you guys find anything interesting you can always hit me up on Twitter or Discord. Both are linked within the video description. So yeah people have fun with this. Once Bungie see it I ain't sure how long it will last. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.